Hey blues guys and gals, good morning, I'm just having some coffee today and I uh, thought I'd pull out the tube amp. We got the mono price, 5 watt stage right, tube amplifier. Alright guys, uh, I picked this up from Amazon for $250 Canadian. The price does fluctuate sometimes so it may be a little bit more at this time of, of the, seeing your video. Um, so today we're going to plug it in straight without any effects and then uh, we'll crank some effects up and see what she can really do. We got the Donner Semi Hollow DJP 1000 we're going to be rocking out on because uh, I'm blues guy <laughs> and we got some uh, blues pedals here everything we're doing today is going to be a little bluesy for you. Alright um, that's what I was really wanting my tube amp for because uh, picking dynamics are more prominent in a tube amplifier so Especially for beginners, like, um, as long as you read your manual for your amplifier and know how to treat it good, I would suggest everyone to get a tube amplifier because you can hear yourself better. And when you hear yourself better, you can correct your mistakes better. So anyway, that's, that's what the tube amp is about in general. <clears throat> it's got, um, I believe it has one uh, preamp 12AX7 tube, and the power tube is a 6L6. JJ6L6. I don't think it's JJ. They may say they are, but they're just China brand. <laughs> but it sounds so awesome. And it's got an attenuator on it. So there's a 1 watts option or a 5 watts option. So if you need to keep it down for your neighbors. Um, and you can crank the tubes up too. Uh, for those that don't know about tube amplifiers, if you crank the volume to about 8 or 9, they start to break up a little bit, like uh, they sound more rock and roll. You know what I mean? We'll go through that later on in the video, but for now, we have everything set, uh, ladies and gentlemen. 12 o'clock for the volume, and the tone knob, that's all there is on this. A volume knob and a tone knob. Super simple. It's the way amplifiers started, actually. They didn't have all this fancy stuff when they first started, so <laughs> going back to the basics. Tone knob, about uh, 2 o'clock. Alright, let's get it. We're not going to run through the pickups on this and everything because uh, we, I have another video for that if you're interested in this guitar. How the different pickups sound in different uh, positions. But for now, we're just going to test out this amplifier. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give her. This is clean with nothing added to it at all. I have the pedals plugged in, but they're off. fancy things with the clean channel if you wanted you know you can play some country songs or um, listen to like I said to your picking dynamics and, and just pay attention to how you're how you're playing and that you're where your mistakes are and after you do that for a while you get a tube screamer there's lots of clones out there lots of clones out there guys um, and a lot of them are pretty close to be honest with you but I got the TS-808 reissue um, I'll make a video about that in the future. <laughs> make a comment. I want to know. Uh, I want to know in the comments, guys, if you're with me. What is your favorite guitar pedal? Personally, I'm I'm trying to tell you guys to get the Tube Screamer because that's my favorite. But if somebody else has a good suggestion of the you know, the best pedal out there, let us know. Especially for blues. What's your What's the best blues pedal, guys? Blues guys and gals, let us all know. Let's hit it with the Tube Screamer. <laughs> Alright, see what I'm 
talking about. Now we're not bumping it up to another level. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put the dumbbell simulator, dumbbell amp simulator on. Stevie Ray Vaughan used the dumbler amp sometimes in his career. Those amplifiers, if you Google them, they're like thousands of dollars, especially the vintage ones. Um, so yeah, they just got a pedal for to make do for now. It breaks up the amp a little bit more instead of sounding so clean. So we're gonna get a little bit more. Um, rock and roll on this right now. We're playing a blues, but it's gonna sound a little bit more heavy. Maybe like some Jimi Hendrix almost. If you want to, if you like that sound, what you just heard there, keep up with my videos, please. I want to make lots of videos about the pedals I use and the settings I use. You know what I mean? I don't claim to be the best player, but if you want to join me on my journey, this is how I've been figuring out things so far. If anyone can help us, you know, the guys that are still trying to figure out um, how they get their tone, you know, the best pedals, the best guitars you like, you know, let us know, guys. Let us know. In all the videos, you know, keep responding and, and let other people know. Alright, blues guys and gals, now we're going to go through, like I said, and crank up the amp a little bit so we get a little bit of natural tube distortion. Okay, we're going to uh, turn the amp on volume 8, and I push the 1 watt volume switch. It's a little switch, it changes when it's outwards all the way, it's 5 watts. When you push it inwards, it goes to one watt. So we're we pushed it in. It's on one watt right now, and I got the volume on eight. So we should get some breakup. No pedals whatsoever. Let's go. tube distortion with the tube screamer <laughs> with the dumbbell app simulator I'm gonna turn it down a little bit with the volume pedal because we're getting loud a volume pedal comes in handy ladies and gentlemen you can use your um your volume knob just as well right fix the problem either way but um if you get the pedal you can always keep your hands busy and your, your feet can uh, fix it for you <laughs>
uh, it's been a real pleasure. I'm going to cut the video off here and uh, play some guitar by myself. <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought of this amplifier, guys. I think it kicks butt. I think it's awesome. Um, especially for the price I paid. I paid about the same price you'd pay for um, a regular Fender amp that's solid state. So, I'm happy, guys. Don't, uh, don't judge China, you know what I mean? They have good products. They have good products, and it's not the gear. Ultimately, as much as we talk about gear and guitars and, and pedals in my videos, just remember, it's not the guitar that makes the musician. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jimi Hendrix used to play um, Squire sometimes when he was on the road if he didn't have a guitar with him. Um, he'd take a Squire um, that was right-handed and restring it left-handed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So whatever he had to do. So um, yeah, it's not good to the guitar that makes the musician. It's nice to have these tools like Joe Bonanza calls the uh, tools, right? Guitars are tools, essentially, right? A lot of people say they got some soul in them, you know what I mean? But they are tools. Tools to uh, project at the end of the day. What uh, the goal is through all of this journey is um, to get the tone that's in our heads to come through the, our amplifiers, you know, exactly what, what we want. And that's the journey up here, the buying all this gear and stuff. Just trying to find that perfect sound. Because, you know, every player has a different sound. Everyone has a different sound. And thank y'all for keeping up with me. This is Blues Guy. Out. Oh.